Survivor, wouldn't it just be so cool if you could sit in your base, you know, have your drink, maybe a little bit of spaghetti, chill out, and you still be able to keep an eye on, you know, what's happening outside. Sure, if you have windows, which of course I don't have, that would work. But if, like me, you're a dwarf in Moria, you have no windows. But you do want to watch her at the Western Gate. Yeah, Western Gate. Well, you can. Using a cleverly crafted mod by Sith, you actually can accomplish it. Thank you, Sid. So I have covered another version of this mod in older alphas, and I think it's a really cool thing. And I still get comments about how cool it would be if you could have a CCTV system with cameras and everything. And since we can, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to start by showing how it works, how you craft it, how you hook it up, and we're going to move on to where to download the mod and how to install it into your game. Now, it's not a pure XML mod, so if you're running a server, each client, in addition to the server, needs to install it. But it's actually simple, it's pretty much drag and drop. So make sure to water up that like button, thumbs it up on the video, and subscribing. So, isn't that so cool? So let's have a look here. Let's uh, shoot a little bit, get a little bit of attention. You see some of them are coming in, you see here. Ah, uh, they're all coming over. Oh, it's looking at the camera. Yeah, yeah, look at the camera. We see them coming in. Where are they coming? Where? Oh, there they are. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, yeah. Slowly. Slowly. They're coming. Oh, I forgot to turn on that. No, 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 no. Welcome committee. Here. Welcome committee is on. I think they're all... Oh, there's a few out there that missed me. Oh, that's good. See if I can get their attention. You see they're standing there. They should be... Oh, no. They're stuck there. Oh. What happened? Why are they stuck there? That's not good. Okay, let's get rid of these ones. They're supposed to be dead. Let's pretend they died and... Oh, another lady. Oh, she didn't make... Oh, look at her. She's like, no, no, I'm I'm, I'm gonna have a look here. I'm gonna see what's... Uh... Oh, she's standing right underneath the camera. Anyway, isn't this cool? Okay, let me turn this off because that gets a little bit irritating otherwise. So, this is how you do it. So, first off, you need to use your workbench and there's a few things that you can do this is cctv is the actual monitor and you need polymers parts glass blocks you do need a small solar cell what's that well let's get to that in a moment and a lead car battery for the cameras they are basically numbered from zero to seven because and there's large ones and there's small ones i'm going to show you the difference they just look uh, look a slightly different and for the cctv as well there is Come on, CCTV, there's the regular one, and there's the large one. I'm going to show you both of them. You do need that small solar cell, small solar cell, which is effectively, well, just a solar cell. So we craft that, you'll see, we end up getting two of them. So for every one you get, and if you buy the cheaper one, you shouldn't have any issue with that. And there we go, we have that. Now we can make the camera, and we're going to make, let's see, let's make seven and six and seven, because I haven't used that. You see, craft it basically started to go down and let's do seven there so everything is tagged to a particular number so we have one uh, zero one two three four five six seven and you can't have duplicates it'll just take one of them and i think it's the last one they placed down so you can't have more than eight you'll see here on the screen this is the large one i'm going to put in let me put in the small one so all you need to do is well, let me rotate it like this. You see, there should be something, but there's nothing. What's happening? Well, you actually need to take your wire tool and just tap it. Right click, done. It's like you're wiring it up, but you're not really wiring on. And then you hit E to switch it on. And you'll see it's actually going to the number zero, then go to number one, two, three, and then it goes to all of them. So you'll see here, there's basically just a zero one there. Actually, it's four and five, I guess it is. And eventually it'll start showing all of them. And I hit E to stop it. And I'm going to hit E to stop it. So now I have basically identical, right? So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, spread over two. And of course I hit E again. It'll just cycle through them again. So that's fine. Now, what about the camera? So I don't have six and seven. So let me put them in. So what we're going to do, let's put one down here. here we have number six, do that. You see, I just do a very brief tap there. And I'm going to go up and let me see. Is that the... Let's do the large one. You can see how that looks. It's essentially the same. Just It's just larger. So if I, do, if I don't do anything and I try to hit it, nothing is going to happen. But as soon as I wire it, just right click and then go away. 
Now I can do, if I hit E, it'll start panning. Hit E again, it'll return. So you can choose whether you want them to pan. You see these two on the outside, and let me go out. These two on the outside, I'm using the big ones and they are panning. This one, uh, what happened to the other stripper? She ran off, how dare she. So the small one, I'm out uh, panning, but I can just hit E and they'll start panning. Let me go inside here again. And you'll see now they're panning. Even the one outside is panning, giving me a nice view across all of them. And that's actually all you need to get this hooked up. Now, it is important to keep in mind, the more cameras you have, the more performance impact you have as well. As this is a mod, it's not a feature of the vanilla game. So there are some big limitations of how efficient it can be made. Basically, every time you have a camera, it's an extra viewpoint that the game has to deal with. And even though it's been scaled down with less frames per second, stuff like that, it still hits the performance of the game. So if you have one or two, three or four, maybe it's all right. It's gonna drop the performance a little bit, but if you're running eight, you're gonna have more of a problem. If you're running a server and everyone is running a lot of them, you're definitely gonna have a lot of problems. So be a little bit restrictive of how you're doing it. You know, running a few is fine, and it's you probably don't need a full eight of them. It doesn't matter whether they're turned on or off. As long as you put down the cameras, you're gonna start seeing a slight performance drain. I have used this one in my Horde Every Night Let's Play years back, and it was a really cool way of seeing the zombies run in. Now, there's also some limitation as to distances. Of course, you have to make sure the camera and the control station, control, whatever monitor is, on this uh, in a loaded chunk if they're too far from each other meaning you have the cameras up here and you have the monitors way down at the bedrock you can run into problems where you can't see things so you just have to move things in another thing that is really important is go to options check your video options and you'll be seeing you'll have let's see occlusion you have to have occlusion off so what is occlusion well a very quick view of that if you have it on and you look into a wall like that, that's all you see. The game only draws this wall. If you have it off as I do now, you see there's a lot of blocks here, things here. Now the game is actually drawing it all, it's just showing only the wall. But it's still drawing and dealing with everything behind. So occlusion is a way basically to make it more uh, performant because it's just not drawing all this stuff because i mean i'm back here i can't see it anyway what's the point what's the point of drawing everything here and then not showing it you might as well not draw it at all so that impacts unfortunately with how the views are working i noticed when i was doing this that a couple of the inside ones were fine some of the outside ones were just showing black or just some weird borders and stuff like that so you might have to turn that off unfortunately and that might impact your performance further so how do we install that well really simple i'm going to leave a link in the description so don't worry about it it's github.com seven days to die alpha 19 mods by sit once you get to here you basically do code and download the zip file and then you access it so you know where it is for instance let me do this here i have it the master and there's actually a bunch of other mods that you want, might want to try out as well i actually personally like the video player uh, i think the lightsaber is not too bad either but the cctv is the one we want to have then you go to your game in Steam, you right click, manage, and browse local files. That will open up the game install location. And what we'll care about is the mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, then you probably haven't installed any other mods. Just create it, then go into it. And then you basically just pull it in and make sure it's unzipped. Now, I'm not gonna do that because I already have it. So I'm gonna cancel that. You want it to look like this. You wanna have the folder of the game, mods, CCTV, and everything in it is in here. If you have multiple depths of folders, meaning that you have uh, mods cctv and then you have another cctv and then you have a problem make sure it should be mods cctv and look like this very important it's very easy to get that wrong but that's pretty much all you need in order to get this to work so restart your game load it up and you're good to go go and craft your stuff put it down put down the cameras put down the monitors and just enjoy it it is simple it is fun and i really wish we had this type of functionality in vanilla fun pimps make our game fun see you again survivor Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.